This morning's speaker is not only a multi-generational researcher and expert, but also a translator. We are literally in a room full of multi-generational people. And we have become comfortable saying not nice things. Our goal here is to begin to understand the differences between putting people in boxes, us, them, us, them, and recognizing and respecting what they bring to the table. All of this is not easy, but all of this is good. Each of you came into these spaces because someone else sacrificed for somebody asked you to do more. Believe in you so that you could do more. What do we owe them? What do we owe that experience? One of the stereotypes of our millennial colleagues and friends that are fleeing from place to place, job to job, they want to be the director of the EP tomorrow. Isn't it possible that they are moving from job to job because the culture that we have helped to create and cultivate is uncomfortable, it's hostile, it's mean, it's disrespectful, it's inappropriate. There's something called the vulnerability paradox. It basically says that by expressing my vulnerability, I think it makes me weak. But I don't know that it is what makes me strong. It's what helps connect my team better to me and helps me to build deeper relationships. Being able to do more with our teams, lead better for our teams. Sometimes falling forward for your teams is enough. Sometimes making the attempt with the right intent is enough. We have to leverage the experiences of our team to make sure we're getting the best out of that team. I'm telling you that right now, we can begin to think differently and we can do something about it. The next set of actions that happen, we can do something about it. I know that I owe. I believe you owe to. You owe your nieces, and daughters, and cousins, aunts, and the people that came before us to do better, to do more, and yes, you might get your hand chopped off when you raise that. But that's who they asked us to be. That's who we want to be. It's okay if we struggle and sacrifice. But I believe that zero to 100 years, 100 years from now is way too far for them to regenerate. It will be less because we will do more. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.